So, um, a lot of people have been asking me how I get to configure my Vim, my Vim editor to be able to do some cool stuff. So, I'm going to open up Vim right now so that we can see what it does. So, here is my Vim, and as you can see, I have numbers. So, when I use enter, I get numbers by the side. And also, you can see this red line that is following me telling me that I should not type beyond 80 characters. I can type more than that, but I just know that when I get there, I should not go beyond it, you see. So I try to stay inside of the red line, you know, and this works very well with the Betty coding style. And it also makes your code, you know, very pretty. So you can see I have my numbers. So people have been asking me how I get to do this. So basically, I'm going to show that to you right now. So I'm going to quit out of this. So the first thing you need to do is to assess your Vim configuration file, your VIM configuration file, or your VIM config file. And to do that, it doesn't matter where you are. All you need to do is just to type in, um, so VIM. So we want to open the file with VIM. Then you use tilde forward slash dot VIM ROC, okay? So if this file is not created, it will be created. And if you have it before, it will be open. So what we are doing is we are telling the terminal to go to the home folder. Then inside of the home folder, it should check for a file that has that's a dot file. So it is a dot VIM ROC file. So when we get in there, just press enter. And as you can see, this is my file. And these are the configuration that I have set. So the first one is set tab stop and shift with eight. So what this does is anytime I press tab, it will be eight spaces. Okay. The next one is set auto indent. And this sets an auto indent for my file. Also smart indent. So when I press enter, it uses the smart indentation. So if I've used eight, eight spaces, that is one tab. It's going to continue with that. Then set C in there, same thing. Then syntax enable. This one is going to help you to know what file you are currently editing. Then set number, which is the one you want, is what is going to put the numbers by the side. Set column is what brings out this red line. And this guy, auto CMD buff right, is what removes um, trailing spaces when you are using Betty. So, this is basically what you need to set inside of your configuration file, your Vim config file. And I'm going to put this in the description and in the first comment section so that you would be able to follow through with this, okay? So, all you need to do is just to... Let me do this again. So, what you need to do is... You say VIM tilde forward slash dot vim roc open it then copy and paste this file i'm going to give to you okay or if you want to type it you can type it out but i would advise that you just copy and paste it since you know what they do already paste it here then you save okay after saving exit then you restart your vim so guys that is how to configure your vim editor or to set your vim configuration file or to edit your VIM config file. So guys, let's continue coding. Stay funky. <laughs>